Hey, welcome to Automotive Ed Builders Tutorials. Today's tutorial has to do with check engine lights. Not the end of the world when you see one on. Most of the time, depending on the make and the model, it has to do with emissions. Um, these new complex systems can even tell you if you have uh, software for your laptop or if you have some sort of reader, which is great. Uh, for the Volkswagens and Audis, they use something called VACOM, which I have, so I easily found out what it needed from the code, took that code, pasted it into Google, and then voila, found the TDI club, tells me that I need this part, gives me the number, everything about it. Very, very simple. The big thing is today, what you want to do is, you want to go online and do the research. They even have photos of how to change the part, where it's located, the price, where you can purchase it. I mean, the internet has definitely opened up a uh, vast array of uh, tutorials and kind of like study guides that you could do it yourself. Don't be so afraid to purchase a vehicle that has a check engine light. I mean, one of the bad things is sometimes when they need the O2 sensors, if they're difficult to get to, that can be costly, especially with these European cars that may have two or three and sometimes even four.